Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to be checking out this, the DeWalt XR Oscillating Tool. So I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. You're thinking DeWalt tools? Like, I, doesn't this fit better on your woodworking channel, Grant? And while you're right, go ahead and go over to butlerworks.com. Uh, this easily fits into the playlist for home upgrades. So for those that are wondering, this is the DCS356C1. This is a full kit, as you can see here. Comes in a nice DeWalt bag. These guys are super durable, and I now have tons of these. I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with this. But I got it on a sale where normally this is like $130. I got it uh, for like $100, and this is a gift to myself because it's something I've been wanting for a long time. So the first thing I see on top is our bits that it gives you to start with. We have uh, a couple of different blades here. And then we have our battery. This is a 20 volt, one and a half amp hour battery. A charger. I have a million of these guys. Also need to find a home for these. Uh, if you need a DeWalt charger, uh, leave, uh, put charger. Uh, in the comments, I guess, and maybe I'll, I'll pick one of you guys to send this to if you need a DeWalt battery charger. And then we have the tool. Here is our tool here. Nice DeWalt yellow. Got a quick release right there. Got our lock and unlock here. Got our trigger. So it actually has to be in the middle, so you can unlock it from either side or lock it to either side. And then here at the base, you can see it is adjustable. There are three different speeds for this guy. And then here on our front edge, we have a light that'll uh, illuminate whatever we're gonna be cutting up. And uh, that's, that's kind of the basics. This is the XR model. You can see our light there. We're on full speed. Oh, look at that. It's uh, the trigger is also can control your speed or if you need to tone it down even less. That's kind of cool. Let's see what else comes in the packaging. Last of all, we got our instruction manual. So that's kind of all that's it in this uh, bag here. There's pockets on the outside, on both sides here. And then we have our tool and our bits. Let's go ahead and bust open our bits here. See what they've given us to work with. Do they have labels or what? All right, so it comes with two different blades here. We have one that says HCS. And then one says buy metal. So this one's meant to cut metal and everything else. And then this one I'm guessing is like a high speed, high speed cutting, H HCS. I don't know what that means. But uh, you can look at the teeth on the end of these and see that one is much coarser than the other. Um, so this is gonna be a little slower to cut. This will be faster to cut. So let's go ahead and start by installing our metal blade. This is a pretty stiff spring on that guy. You really have to pinch to get that in there. And then you just place your blade in and release. That was pretty easy. If it doesn't quite line up or close all the way, just pull till it gives you some slack. There you go. You can also install this in different orientations. So just press it down. There we go. Anywhere you need it. There we go. Put it at many different angles. Look at that, you can even cut back towards yourself if you have to. Reaching around a corner to Let's go ahead and just start with the standard cutting. One other thing I do want to test uh, while we have this here, just getting started. Um, yeah, it takes the little one half hour. I wonder if I can notice the difference when I get the big chungus nine amp hour battery on there. 
there's definitely a weight difference. This battery weighs more than this whole package here. That's louder. Hold on. Definitely different. So if you're looking to get something done, you might have to grab your 60 volt battery. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I wanna test is uh, my wife recently uh, got some new drawer pulls for her uh, dresser. And so we're just gonna cut these screws down because they're a little too long. So I've actually figured out that uh, it's probably right there about where that is. So, all right, I went ahead and marked it. That's how much I think I need to cut off, hopefully. And, uh, Definitely tell she's cutting. Give it another go. And we're done. She's toasty, but cut right through it. Got a little bit of a Metal dust on the desk here. Let's see if it's any easier if I can hold it this way. That was faster. Had some leverage on it. There we go. First task on the honeydew list complete. All right, I'm gonna be dusting all of that metal dust off of my desk for a little while, but uh, it worked perfect. It did exactly what we needed. <laughs> it's kind of fun to play with. The next honeydew that I have on my list is the previous homeowner laid uh, laminate floors without doing the threshold transitions. Like there's one that goes into like our bathroom, but it's just like this cheap chintzy metal one. But the previous homeowner left a whole bunch, bunch of like bullnose ends for this stuff. And so um, I'm just gonna cut this down to be uh, thresholds for doors, to be that transition threshold. Uh, so next is this guy. So you can see here, this is what I'm working with. Um, they just left this edge here at every doorway, except for one, and it's that one over here. And it's just like this cheap metal trim, but every other doorway in my home, this is, uh, like that and so we're gonna take this bull nose here and we're gonna cut it down I think I might have to remove like this lower section here but I also don't know for sure I might have to remove some of this let's go ahead and uh, cut it down to length for starters and then we'll go from there so we're looking at about right there and uh, let me go ahead and cut this guy there, and then we'll figure out what we need to do with it from there. Here we go. Pretty clean cut. All right, and uh, fits pretty well. Um, that actually doesn't look bad, just for starters. But um, I don't like this like full rounded bull nose, so I'm at the very least gonna take off this bull nose here and uh, see where I want to go from there. That looks much more like what I was hoping for. It looks like this edge started rising up a little bit, so I'm gonna go clean that up with this guy real quick. Honestly, I think that, that's gonna work. We'll just throw some nails in here to hold it down. And that should do. And throw a couple in the middle to hold it in place.
And there we go. A nice threshold transition. I think a uh, vacuum will uh, transition that a little bit better. So my first impressions are uh, the battery, this little battery on there makes a big difference when you up, up it to this nine amp hour battery. It cuts faster, it cuts better. Also, it might be because the battery they delivered it with didn't come with a full charge, which is understandable. You're only allowed to ship things with a certain amount of charge of battery. So this nine amp hour battery was fully charged, but also is like eight times the size. I don't know exactly, but like it's huge compared to this little guy. And it made a huge difference. It just, it does make it much more unwieldy having this big fat battery on there, but having that amount of power behind it to keep it going, you can notice like a torque difference with the flex volt batteries. Now I want to show you guys my next project I'm working on or one that I'm just about to post. Uh, I might post it before or after this video comes out, but uh, it is a console table that's gonna go behind a couch and I need to cut a notch in it to uh, fit it around the baseboard so it can sit flush against the wall, as well as cutting a hole in it so that we can have a flush mount outlet as well. So stick around to the very end for my final review, but let's go ahead and cut to that section and we'll be right back. All right, you guys, so we are going to uh, go ahead and install our power strip that's gonna be recessed and flush mounted. Uh, this is meant to be mounted on a desk, so it's meant to stick up just a little bit, but I'm actually gonna take a little bit out uh, it's going to be basically the whole shape of this thing to set so that this is completely flush. And then I'm actually going to center it. I have a three section couch. It's a sectional and there's three sections. It's going to be centered in the middle of one so that you can basically get power from wherever um, any of the positions rather than it being more to one side or the other. Um, it's going to be centered in the middle one, which leaves it at about one foot five to the center of this. So I'll have to measure that all out and then we'll cut this guy in. I want this to be completely flush, so I'm actually going to recess this just a little bit. I'm going to draw an outline here and then come and chisel all that out using our new oscillating tool. All right, so being kind of a beginning woodworker, I'm not great at things. <laughs> I just kind of take on projects and uh, do the best I can. As you can see, I kind of gouged a couple corners, things like that, but this will work. Look at that. Super smooth, super flush, everything. You can set a cup on here and it's not gonna tip over. That's kind of my biggest thing. But there's one more thing we need to do before we install this guy. Because we are going to be doing some notching out of the legs just in the very bottom here to make room for the baseboard of my house so that this can sit flush against the wall. All right, and now that we have created a template of our baseboard, we can just place it on here like this, trace it out, and then cut it out.
All right, you guys, so my camera battery died, but um, I cleaned this up with like a metal rasp here. Um, you got a flat side on one end and a round on the other. So just kind of cleaned up these rounded sides here, knocked off any sharp burrs, edges, sliver, splinter, or whatever stuff you got there. I just cleaned it all up, made it look a little bit better. Not that anyone's gonna see it, but I'm going to stain this as well, just so I know it's been stained. We'll then install the outlet and uh, install it behind the couch. So I'll go ahead and charge up the camera so you can at least see the installation process. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and stain this real quick and uh, we'll jump to the installation processes. All right, there it is. Let's take a closer look. So we have our flush mount power outlet. We'll go ahead and just plug it into our outlet right here. And then you can see we notched all this out. I may have notched out, may have. I notched out too much here, but it's better to have too much out than too little. So there we go. Baseboards fit great. And now we can slide our couch in and it will be level with the top of this guy here. All right, and that is the DeWalt uh, three-speed oscillating multi-tool. Honestly, the three-speed seems a little funny to me because you have that variable speed with the trigger, but, you know, I, I'm not gonna complain. Uh, I do appreciate that, like, they give you that ability to slow it down, to help you be a little bit more accurate with it. There definitely is a little bit of a learning curve. Granted, I made, what, five cuts in this video, and by the end of it, I started to feel more confident. I was able to make more chiseled cuts, more accurate cuts, things like that, where in the beginning it was jumping around, it was kicking off, things like that. So, uh, it turned out pretty good. Works really well. It's not an accurate, perfect tool. Um, there are a lot more things that you can do out there with other tools, but this one is kind of a fantastic all around. It's, it's a little bit cleaner than like a Sawzall style tool, but it's more versatile than like a single jigsaw. So it's kind of that in between that finds itself very useful. And it also has tons of different attachments out there. You can do everything from cutting to sanding to there's even like scrub brush attachments out there so you can get a real good clean on your dishes or scrub, whatever you want to clean. Uh, they got all sorts of attachments. Just scroll Amazon, just searching, you know, oscillating tool attachment. And it seems like, I thought that this was like a proprietary attachment um, style, but it seems like all brands use that same style of attachment, which is kind of nice so you don't have to worry about like, oh, is it going to work? All of them use the exact same oscillating tool attachment style where it's that kind of a star bit looking thing and it works really well. I, I can't wait to see what else I can do with this guy. But if you want to get this guy for yourself, I'll have links to it down in the description of this video. I'll also have linked to the other two videos that I made on this where I made one on the outlet and I also made a video on just the console table itself. So go ahead and check those out. Links will be down in the description. While editing may be similar, it is going to be just a little bit different focusing on each individual thing if you want to learn more about those. And if you made it to the end of this video, please consider subscribing and in a day, of shorts and reels, TikToks and Snapchats, knick-knack, paddywhack. Thanks for giving this old dog a bone and watching my full-length video. I'll see you guys in the next one.